and let us see anti convergence so the classification includes barbiturates Adenoids, oxazolidin dions, succinimides. urea and monoacyl ureas benzodiazepines and miscellaneous okay, let us see the examples for barbiturates phenobarbital and metabarbital No, barbital and metobar. These are the two examples for barbitals. Three hydantoins, phenytoin. Mepintoin, Thotoin, then examples for oxazolidin dions, Primethadion. Sexinimides examples, pensexamide, pensexamide, metsexamide. Ethosaximide. And example for urea and monoacyl ureas, pinacemide, pinacemide, carbamazepine. Okay. <clears throat> then benzodiazepines examples 
clona a Zepam. And miscellaneous. Bring me down. Alproic acid. Gaba pentin. And Pelba May. Excuse me. So the classification of anticonvulsants includes the categories named barbiturates, iodantoins, oxalidindions, succinimides, urea and monoacyl ureas, benzodiazepines, and some miscellaneous agents. So if you see examples for barbiturates, phenobarbital and methobarbital are the examples acting as anticonvulsants here. And hydantoins, the examples include phenytoin, mephenytoin, ethotoin, oxazolidindione, trimethadione, paramethadione. For succinimides, the examples include finsuximide, mithsuximide, ethosuximide. And urea and monoacyl ureas, the examples include finasamide, carbamazepine. And uh, sixth category is benzodiazepines, the example is Clonazepam and miscellaneous agents are primidone, valproic acid, gabapentin, and pelbamate. So, this is the classification of anti convulsants. This is the classification of anti convulsants. Now, let us see the Chemical structures of the drug candidates. Okay, first is barbiturates. We have discussed barbiturates in earlier sessions. Can you tell me the general structure how to write up that of uh, barbituric acid? Any of the barbiturates? We have two phenobarbidone and metabarbital. Fine. What is the difference? Both are barbitch rates. One is pheno, the other one is mitha. Okay, that is the difference I see here. So, these are uh, fused ureas with their corresponding esters, right? So, I remember their general structure having sorry for that. This is an urea, a six member ring with the two amines and two carbonyls, and having substance at fifth position. Okay. Fine. And this is also will having will be having same. This is the comma structure.
here you will have two substitutes. So we need to remember the differences. In phenobarbiton, one one of the substituents at fifth position. This is the fifth position actually. Okay. One is ethyl group C2H5, the other one is phenyl group C6H5. So it is a phenobarbital. In methabarbital, both substituents at position 5, both substituents are methyl, and you will have one more methyl substituent in the place of hydrogen here. Okay. So in phenobarbiton, you have phenyl group and methobarbital you have three methyl substituents. This is the difference between phenobarbital and methobarbital. Okay, next we have adentoins. So, phenytoin, mephenytoin, and ethotoin. Let us see the structure of phenytoin. So, this is a five membered imidazole. So, what is imidazole? Okay, having two carbonyl groups. Okay, here you have two substituents that is phenyl substance C6, H5, C6, H5. So this is the structure of phenytoin. So, imidazole dion, okay, dion. Why you have two carbonyl groups? So, what do you observe the difference between barbiturates and hydantoins? Okay, hydantoins are five membered, but they also have the urea moiety, NHCO, NH, but it is a five membered ring. In phenytoin, you have two phenyl groups. Okay. The next structure is mephenytoin. And let us compare ethotoin also here. So draw the hydantoin first. Draw hydantoin first. NH. NH. C double bond O, C double bond O. Here the substitute. So the difference lies at substitutions. Here you have one C2H5 that is ethyl and the other one is C6H5 that is phenyl and you have one methyl substituent attached to this nitrogen. So this is the difference if you compare with phenytoin. And what about ethotoin? First draw the five member ring. Two carbonyl groups. Okay, so what is it? Here you have ethyl. That is the major difference. 
and we have methyl here and we have phenyl here. So we have ethyl group attached to nitrogen in ethotrine. Okay. And we have methyl group attached to nitrogen in methyton. There is the difference among three structures. Phenytoin, methotoin, mephenytoin or ethotoin. Actually, I think there is no methyl group here. Only phenyl group will be. Here it is hydrogen. Okay. Only C6H5 will be there. So these are adenoids. So what is the next category we have? Succinimides. Sorry, we have oxalid in dions, right? Oxalid in ox azolid in dion. Dion means two carbonyl groups. C double bond was ox, oxygen is there, nitrogen is there, azar, lead in what is indicating the ring. That is how you have to derive the names of the chemical structures. Let us see the examples under oxolidin dions. What examples you have? Trimetha dion and paramita dion. And para itha dion or para dion. So this is also a five member ring. So how oxygen leading looks like? You must be knowing it. You have learned it. Instead of second nitrogen, you will have oxygen. I am wondering, having two carbonyl groups here. So you will have two substituents here. Okay. Any substituted or other, uh, if it is not substituted, you can put hydrogen. So this is oxazolidine dione. Okay, how the name is oxa aza so oxazolidine. This five member ring. Okay, please mute yourself. Oxazolidine dione. Two carbonyl groups. One is here. The other one is here. Oxazolidine. Dion. Oxazolid in dion. Okay, let us see where they are substituted. So, the nitrogen is having methyl group in both the compounds. 
okay in trimethyl ion tri three methyl groups so here also methyl and methyl so three methyl groups one two three trimethyl ion same and paramethyl ion you have one CS3 at nitrogen, the other one at this position, fifth position, and you have one ethyl group. This is the difference between trimethadion and paramethadion. Okay, what is the difference between hydrantoins and uh, oxazolidin ions? So both are five membered rings in penetoin, it is imidazole, oxazolidin is the ring change that means the heteroatom the second heteroatom is oxygen instead of the second nitrogen okay then the next category is succinamides so what examples we have fensuximide then succimide, methsuximide, and ethosuximide. So this is also same like uh, hydantoins and oxazolidin ions, five membered ring only. But what is the difference here? There is no second heteroatom. So it will have tetrahedro pyridine. And earlier rings are also tetrahedro because we don't have double bonds in the ring, inside the ring. So, So if you put like this, it is pyrrol. But when you remove one double bond, you will have two hydrogens extra. If you remove two double bonds, you have four extra hydrogens. So tetrahydro pyrrol. Okay. And you have diome. Saxinimides general structure. At this position, you will have this one. So, three are succimides. This is the general structure. So, now let us compare the difference between three. So in finsexamide, as fin indicates, we have C6H5. And to the nitrogen, you have methyl. So this is finsexamide, structure of finsexamide. If you see methsexamide, you have CH3 here. You have one more CH3 here. And you have C6H5. Here. And if you see ethosuximide, you have no substituent here, so it is hydrogen, uh, one CH3 and one C2H5 ethyl group. So in fensuximide, you have phenyl group at this position. In methsuximide, you have two methyl groups along with the phenyl. In ethosuximide, you have one ethyl substituent and one methyl substituent but there is nothing attached to the nitrogen so this is the comparison and uh, contrasting of three structures femsuximide methsuximide and ethosuximide under succinimides and if you see the next category that is urea and monoacyl ureas urea and monoacyl Urias. 
So what are the examples? Pen asamide carbamazepine. Pen asamide. Let us see. Pen indicates a phenyl ring. Acetyl group CS3 CO. So here it is linking. So let's put only CS2. Okay. Phenyl acetyl group are there. And amide. Amide means CONH. Okay. And you have one more C double bond O and H2. So two amides are there. Pen asamide. Okay, this is the structure of penasamide. Okay, penasamide. And the next structure we have carbamazepine. Carbamazepine. So this is a azepine, seven membered ring. So write down the seven membered ring. So this is the seven membered ring having one double bond here. It is fused to two phenyl rings on either side. That is like this. And this will have an amide. This is the structure of carbamazepine. So if you see urea and monoacyl, Ureas. Okay. This CO, NH2, CO, NH2 is the urea and monoacyl ureas. Okay. If you observe NH2, CO, NH, and acetyl, single acetyl. So monoacyl ureas. So these are the two examples under urea and monoacyl ureas. Okay. One is phenacamide and carbamazepine. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. These are the two examples. And what category we have? We have benzodiazepines. We'll see benzodiazepines for now. What example we have? Clonazepam. Did you see clonazepam on the board? No, sir. You unmute yourself. Okay. Now you can see, right? So benzodiazepines. So you know the uh, basic structure of benzodiazepine. So what is it? Seven member ring. NH. Another nitrogen. Okay. This is diazepine ring. To which you have a benzene fuse to it. So benzo. Diazepine. Most of the times in earlier uh, lessons, antipsychotics we saw here commonly chlorine, but here you have nitro. Both are electronegative. And here we'll have one phenyl substituent which is having a chlorine chlorine atom. Here you have C double one. So, so chlor indicates chlorine. Okay. 
N for nitro, you can as a pump give the name of benzodiazepine. So this is the structure of benzodiazepine, and we have to see the structures under miscellaneous category that is primidone, valproic acid, carbapentin, and felbamate. Okay. So this we will see in the next session. So what is it? The classification of anticonvulsants includes barbiturates, hydantoins, oxazolidin dions, succinimides, urea and monoacyl ureas, benzodiazepines and miscellaneous agents. Examples for barbiturates is phenobarbital and methobarbital. And hydantoins, phenytoin, mephenytoin, ethotoin. Oxazolidin dions, trimethadione, paramethadione. Succinimides, pensuximide, mitsuximide, ethosuximide. Urea and monoacyl ureas, penacimide, carbamazepine. Benzodiazepine, clonazepam. Miscellaneous, primidone, valproic acid, gabapentin, and felbamate. What is the difference you have observed in the basic rings between barbiturates, hydantoins, and oxazolidins? Three, and also succinimides. So, four categories are five member rings. You can easily remember their basic structure. Okay. What is it? Five member ring, uh, five member structures. Okay. Barbiturates, you know the general structure. Okay. It's a six member ring. Barbiturates, you know, six member rings. Okay. But uh, hydantoins, oxalidin dions, and succinimides. Three are five member rings. Hydantoins will have imidazole ring and two carbonyl groups. Okay. In uh, try, uh, what we say in oxalidin dions, it is a uh, oxygen is the second heteroatom and it is also one of the five number rings. Succinimides doesn't have second heteroatom, only one nitrogen atom will be present in the ring. Okay, the remaining you have to remember according to the name, the substance. Okay, benzodiazepines we saw in the last class, barbiturates we learned this general structure in the last classes. Okay, so phenobarbitan and methobarbitan, we saw the structures, hydantoins, phenytoin and mephintoin. Ethotoin, oxazolidin dions, trimethadione, paramethadione. Succinimides, fensuximide, mitsuximide, ethosuximide. Urea and monoacyl ureas, phenosamide and carbamazepine and benzodiazepines. We saw the structure of clonazepine. So these are the chemical structures uh, till now. We'll see the remaining in the next session.